Hey, how's it going, people? It is the Hoff here, and today I ended up getting something in the mail uh, that I ordered, which I got two things, and I just want to go over and do the setup of the items I got, plus show you how my new setup is coming along and how it's progressing. So, first thing first, let's get into what I got that I already put in. I got the uh, new monitor. This one will eventually, on the left, my 1080p monitor. That's the Acer, and I'll have the link to them in the description down below. But that's uh, 1080p, 144 hertz, uh, one millisecond response um, monitor that does free sync, but it doesn't have display port on it, so you have to use um, either an adapter to get the display port, or you uh, have to use a DVI. And it does have HDMI, but DVI. Um, so that's gonna go to my girlfriend's kids. And then on the right here is my new monitor, 1440p. It's a 27 inch, um, I think it's GL850 uh, Bravo, I think is what it's called, but I'll definitely link it down below. Um, it's 1440 for the resolution. It's 144 Hertz. It does free sync, but has G-Sync through the adaptive sync capability. Um, it has HDR10, which I will say, it does say HDR10, but it doesn't actually meet the HDR10 requirements, but it is a really good monitor. Even still, the brightness does not get up to the standards for HDR10. Um, it's supposed to be able to do one millisecond response time, but if you put it to that, you're gonna see a lot of motion blur. It's just not gonna look great. You have to change the settings to fastest, which you have to change those out of the box and it just doesn't look that great. It's best to keep them on fast, which is still really good. You're still under four seconds. Uh, it's between four to three seconds, I think it is, for the response time, so it's still not that bad. And then, uh, besides that jungle of a mess up there that I'm eventually gonna have to tackle for cable management when all this is said and done. Um, I got the new mouse, which the mouse pad's gonna have to eventually be replaced because you can see it's coming up down here, but uh, the mouse I have is the Razer Viper Ultimate. Heard amazing things, and after using it last night when it came in, I was really impressed. Uh, the feet on it are really good, sliding across and, and over my Mamba. Wireless, this one uses a optical sensor, which is way better than I, the laser sensor was. And I had zero issues and my kill to death ratio was actually very much improved. So I have nothing but good things to say about it. And then for headset, I went with the Sennheisers. These are the 599 special editions. Um, they were a great deal. So I went with those, mostly black with a little bit of silver accents and they plug in through the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which um, it also has a bigger one to plug into the bigger headphone jacks for like the old record players and stuff. And I use that with the adapter because it's a longer cable. You do get a shorter cable that you can use to plug into older cell phones to still have headphone jacks or when you're like on a plane and stuff. And I mean, open back design so you can hear people when they come in and try to talk to you a little bit. So the people won't be screaming at the top of their lungs and you can't hear them to try to get you to listen and take off the headphones. <clears throat> and then in here, which I'm going to go over and set up, is going to be the Yeti caster, which I'm just going to do a uh, quick unboxing. And then uh, down here, which is going to be the highlight, I'm just going to open up the box, set it up, and then just go over a few things is the uh, Secret Lab Titan, and this is the Dark Knight Edition. So as you see down there, Dark Knight Edition. So without further ado, let me go ahead and take out the Yeti Caster stuff, show you the boxes, and then get to the setup. So in here, we have what I believe is the shock mount, yep. Shock mount for Yeti protective right there, which I believe holds. And we have 
And here is the Yeti mic itself, which this is the blackout edition. And then we have the boom arm right here. So let me go ahead and stop the video here, set this up real quick, because uh, for everyone it's gonna be different depending on your desk, where you want it and all this stuff. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. And then we'll do the same thing for the Secret Lab Titan chair. Okay, people, we're back and the Yeti is more or less installed. I might tweak the positioning of it, but here's how it looks. You got the Yeti right there and it screws on from the back piece right there onto the shock mount. And then the shock mount screws on right here. And then you have the boom arm, which there's some nice, uh, if you can see it, uh, clips down here and a way to run your cables underneath. And uh, there you can see it pretty well. And it will hide the cables and then I have it coming routed out here and up to here for now. Eventually, I will try to get this whole spreader web once everything's now connected and try to do some better cable management. But now let's get into the chair assembly. So I'm going to assemble it so I can keep the video kind of short. And then I will have um, the final product to show you guys. So let's do that. Okay guys, so here it is. It's all set up, just has to be kind of more organized a little bit, but there's the chair. It's quite comfortable. Got the Batman logo up there. You have micro. Uh, it's that um, foam, micro fiber foam pillow. So same thing like a Tempur-Pedic style pillow. Really nice, plush, uh, felt style material on the outside. And then I got the PU leather and you have the Secret Labs up there. And then you got the Batman logo right here. The stitching feels really nice. Uh, zippers back here to get into it, but I don't foresee needing to. And then you got four way adjustable for the armrest. And I mean, you can adjust for the Titan. It's the only one that you can adjust the backing on to uh, give yourself some lumbar support, which is really nice. So I'll end the video here. And I will just say that this video was sponsored by me and myself and I. Um, but if you guys should happen to want to help me out, see more stuff on the channel or ask questions, uh, feel free to subscribe like and hit that bell notification because every little bit helps in this channel and helping you guys with uh, providing you good feedback and everything and what i'm going to try to do now is buy a, or get stuff in and if it's something i personally get it's something that is good in that price point or the best there is like this chair i did research and for what this chair is it's can support a bigger person if you're a bigger person, but the back lumbar support is what I really care about, and that's what this chair does. And then the Yeti mic is the best, and I wanted the shock and boom arm, so I could easily have it when trying to talk and play games and stuff like that. And then those Sennheiser headphones were the best for uh, what I was trying to do with taking it on the road every now and then for flights and uh, listen to the screens on the flights, as well as having it for gaming. And that sounds just amazing. And then the mouse, I mean, I can't say much uh, better than what everyone else has said about that Razer Viper Ultimate. Everyone compliments it. It's an amazing mouse over there. And soon enough, I'll have to probably get another mouse pad because that one's just coming apart. And the keyboard will be upgraded to the Razer Huntsman Elite. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.